write the equation of standing waves there are two types of waves one is progressive wave and second is standing wave progressive wave which moves in one direction standing waves which are vibrating on the same place now the progressive wave can move in two directions in forward or in backward for the forward moving wave equation is psi is equals to a sin of 2 pi x by lambda plus nu t and for the backward moving wave psi is equals to a sin of 2 pi x by lambda minus nu t so let's take these two equation psi 1 is equals to a sin of 2 pi x by lambda plus nu t that is equation 1 and psi 2 is equals to a sin of 2 pi x by lambda minus nu t this is equation number 2 on combining these two equations psi becomes psi1 plus psi2 which is equals to a sin of 2 pi x by lambda plus nu t plus a sin of 2 pi x by lambda minus nu t let's take a out of the bracket so the equation becomes psi is equals to a sin of 2 pi x by lambda plus nu t plus sin of 2 pi x by lambda minus nu t which can also be written as psi is equals to a sin of 2 pi x by lambda plus 2 pi nu t plus sin of 2 pi x by lambda minus 2 pi nu t as we know from the trigonometry that sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b is equals to 2 sin of a plus b by 2 cos of a minus b by 2 let's simplify accordingly therefore psi becomes a 2 sin of 2 pi x by lambda plus 2 nu t plus 2 pi x by lambda minus 2 nu t divided by 2 into cos of 2 pi x by lambda plus 2 pi nu t minus 2 pi x by lambda minus 2 pi nu t divided by 2 so now let's cancel 2 pi nu t from the first factor and 2 pi x by lambda from the second one so the equation reduces to a 2 sin of 2 pi x by lambda plus 2 pi x by lambda divided by 2 and cos 2 pi nu t plus 2 pi nu t divided by 2 so let's combine it becomes a 2 sin of 4 pi x by lambda divided by 2 cos 4 pi nu t divided by 2 now we can cancel this 4 with the 2 so the equation becomes psi is equals to a 2 sin of 2 pi x by lambda cos of 2 pi nu t or we can write the final equation as psi is equals to 2a sin of 2 pi x by lambda cos of 2 pi nu t this is the final equation for the standing wave now as the equation for the standing wave is psi is equals to 2a sin of 2 pi x by lambda cos of 2 pi nu t therefore when x is equals to 0 or lambda by 2 or 2 times lambda by 2 or n times lambda by 2 then sin of 2 pi x by lambda always becomes zero and therefore psi becomes zero these points are known as nodes these are having minimum amplitude hence the standing wave can be defined as all waves whose amplitude function can be factorized into factors independent of space coordinates and a factor independent of time are called stationary waves If you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Now you can buy these beautiful covers for your Samsung Galaxy phones. For purchasing these phone cases please click on the link given in the description.